This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Frederick Tunison and I'm a researcher at Berkeley and um, we're here um, because I'm studying the um, vocalization of the spotted hyena. We have a colony of 21 uh, captive hyenas here. It's the largest colony in the world. And this is a really a rare opportunity that we have here to record the sounds of one of the most vocal uh, terrestrial mammals. The, the spotted hyena produces about 15 different types of uh, vocalizations. And we're interested in seeing um, kind of the, you know, kind of describing all these different vocalizations and seeing in which context they produce these vocalizations and seeing whether they have uh, some of the open-endedness and plasticity that you might find in a more sophisticated language like, like human language in the sense that it would produce uh, a different sound in a different behavioral context. And it requires, you know, higher perceptual abilities uh, in the sense that if you are going to use the signals to kind of tell whether this is a dominant or subordinate animal, uh, you need to be able to perceive these differences and learn to recognize them. So it, it, it goes, this kind of evolution of, of complex signaling system goes hand in hand with evolution of cognitive abilities, uh, both perceptual um, and uh, cognitive in the sense that you need to interpret them in the social context. We've been recording the, the hyena giggle um, and um, the giggle is produced in a context where, um, where the animal is frustrated. So it's, if, you, if you think of it as a laugh, it's more of a nervous laugh than, than just a happy laugh. Um, so they're usually in a situation where they're, when they want to get something and they don't have access to it. And so the giggle happens a lot um, in free living animals um, at kills where one animal might be dominating the kill and not letting other animals have access, uh, access to the food. Our first question was really like, do different animals have, have different giggle sounds? Do they produce different, different giggles? And we found that, yes, indeed, uh, each animal has its own very characteristic uh, giggle sound. So you can tell who is giggling just by listening to, uh, to the giggle sound. Um, but what we didn't expect and what we also found is that uh, there was a signature of the dominance of the animal. Being able to like, study an animal which is not a primate, but uh, which also uh, has you know, a complex social structure and actually a communication system that is as sophisticated, if not more sophisticated, than what we see in non-human primates, um, allows us to really, you know, understand you know, what was needed to kind of evolve the ability of, of language. 